The last year has been busy for us, and if you're unsure of which of our new low power variable optics to get, this video is for you. Welcome back to the Swamp Fox Optics YouTube channel, and today we are going over our latest LPVOs and which one you should buy. Well, I can't quite just say this one or that one. What I can do is lay out some key differences and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of which LPVO is better for you. LPVO stands for Low Power Variable Optic. And in the last year, we've brought two new options to the market. We've brought the Warhorse and the Tomahawk 2. The first major difference between the Warhorse and the Tomahawk 2 is the type of reticle. The Warhorse features a first focal plane reticle, which means the reticle will grow and shrink when you increase and decrease your magnification. The Tomahawk 2, however, features a second focal plane reticle, which means the reticle size will remain consistent regardless of if you increase or decrease the magnification. The Warhorse will be better if you want accurate holds no matter what magnification you're at, but it comes at the cost of having a smaller reticle at one power and also costing a little bit more. The Tomahawk 2, however, will be better if you want quicker target and reticle acquisition at the cost of your reticle holds only being accurate at maximum magnification. The second major difference we're talking about today is the size and the weight. The Warhorse utilizes a 34 millimeter tube and comes in at 23.4 ounces. The Tomahawk 2 uses a 30 millimeter tube and comes in at 20.6 ounces, nearly three ounces lighter. If you prefer a bigger tube size and weight isn't the most important factor, the Warhorse may be a better option for you. If weight is an important factor and the smaller tube size doesn't bother you, the lighter Tomahawk 2 may sway your opinion. An important note here is that despite the difference in tube sizes, both optics share a 24 millimeter objective lens, and all that means is both optics will have about the same light transmission. The third major difference is the cost. The Warhorse 1-6 comes in at $639 retail, and the Tomahawk 2 1-6 comes in over $200 less at $429 retail. That doesn't mean that the Tomahawk 2 is $200 less valuable than the Warhorse, it just has a different feature set that may or may not be more appealing to you. Lastly, as a little bonus difference, the Tomahawk 2 is our only optic that features our BFO reticle technology. If you need illumination that's extremely bright, even in the sunniest daylight conditions, the Tomahawk 2 takes the cake. Hopefully, this 30,000 foot head-to-head -head comparison has helped you narrow down your choice, but if you need a little bit more info, feel free to check out these links to learn more about the Warhorse and the Tomahawk 2. Thanks so much for watching, and before you go, leave a comment about which optic you would prefer.